sometimes it can be very natural to view matrices as partitioned into blocks. So for instance, we can look at this matrix A equals this by partitioning it like this. So then I can think of it as the block matrix or partitioned matrix I, D, zero, C. I'm gonna emphasize that I have blocks here. So this I, whenever we use a partition matrix, I, just as usual, I is an identity matrix. So this I here, that's a three by three identity matrix. And then this D, that's this guy here. This C is this guy here. And this O is this zero matrix here. Another example is the matrix B equal to this, which we can partition into this zero matrix here and this two by two identity matrix here. Okay, so why do this? Well, if you have zero matrices and identity matrices as your, some of your blocks, it can make matrix multiplication much easier. So for instance, I can do a, B, instead of having to do this huge multiplication of this, what is it, five by five matrix times this five by two matrix, I can just pretend that the sub matrices are numbers and do matrix multiplication that way. Now note that the sizes of the blocks must match and we need to keep the left right order straight. So in this case, we have I, D, O, C times O, I. And again, I'm pretending that the sub matrices are numbers, that these blocks are numbers and multiplying like that. And again, I have to keep the order correct. So here, okay, well, when I multiply this, my top row is going to be I times O plus D times I. It is not O times I here. In this case, it'll be the same matrix, but in general, that won't be the case. And then for the second row, I have O times O, so O squared, plus C times I. And then, okay, well, this is D, C, O. I know what D is and I know what C is. This is just the matrix here. That was a lot easier than multiplying out entirely by straight from the definition a five by five matrix A and the five by two matrix B. The most common way for us to use these matrix multiplication by blocks, these partitioned matrices, so most commonly is when one or both of the matrices are partitioned into rows or columns. So for example, if A is M by N and B is n by r with b equal to b1 br. So here I'm thinking as thinking of b1 through br as column vectors. Then when I multiply a times b, that's just going to be, okay, well I can think of this a as a block matrix matrix with one single block, A times B1 through BR. And then using what I just talked about, we pretend this is a matrix of, the, this is, a mat these are matrices of numbers and keep track of the order. And we get A times B1 through A times B R. So for example, 
we can look at these two matrices here and I can partition this B into columns and then using what I just talked about A times B is A times B1 A times B2 where B1 and B2 are the two columns I can write A times B1 if I do this like 1 3 2 0 1 minus 1 times 4 1 3 this is the same as if I do and I want you to think about why this works this is just 4 times the first column plus 1 times the second column plus 3 times the third column which equals 13 minus 2 and similarly a times b2 is equal to 7 2 and therefore we conclude that a times b is equal to 13 minus 2 7 2 and I included the vertical bar just to emphasize that we got this by using block multiplication and note that we can also do the exact same thing where we use rows instead of columns where we put the row uh, think of we partition a into rows and then get so if we partition a into rows like a1 am and then a times b is a1 times b through am times b and if you want you can put a little vertical or horizontal bars there actually let me I like having the horizontal bars like wide so we know it's not fractions or anything 